The area clearance strategy form contains a parameter under rest machining called detect material thicker than. This parameter is often misunderstood and used incorrectly and can result in either under machining the rest area or over machining the rest material. So it's important that we get the correct value in this detect material thicker than field. To explain this more clearly we're going to use the example on the screen. Detect material thicker than is only activated when we're doing rest machining so to begin with we need to create an initial roughing toolpath. Here we're using a 25 millimeter end mill to rough out this, rect this square pocket in the block. If we apply this toolpath to the stop model then we can clearly see in the corner the radius that's left. Along the edges of the pocket we can see the 2 millimeter thickness allowance that we entered into the area clearance form. So the rest, the true rest material that we're interested in is purely this radius left in the corner. Now to rest rough this pocket we're going to be using a 5 millimeter end mill and we're going to switch on the rest roughing and to begin with we're going to use a detect material thicker than value of 2. One school of thought is that because my thickness is set to 2 then I must detect material that is thicker than 2. So if we try this, to this value in the form and apply you'll see that this is not the correct method for determining the detect material thicker than because when we animate this toolpath and apply it to the view mill simulation you'll notice that it has not machined away enough of the rest material there is still material left in that corner so if we go back to our area clearance strategy form and this time we're going to use the expand area by the same value as the detect material thicker than. So we need to put a value of 2 millimeters in there to expand the toolpath back out to cover the, all of the rest material. So let's apply this methodology and see the result. The toolpath is definitely a lot better but this is still the wrong approach to use for determining the rest material. As you can see closely there is still some small upstands of material left at the edges of those radius. So 2 millimeters is not the correct value. So using the methodology of detect material thicker than should be equal to thickness is the wrong formula to use. The correct formula in a perfect world where there was no, we didn't have tolerances to worry about and we didn't have faceting of the toolpath to worry about, then the correct value would be zero because we wanted to detect material that's thicker than zero above our stock allowance. But in the real world, when we are using tolerances for calculating the model and calculating the toolpath then we need to compensate for this tolerance effect and our detect material thicker than should be slightly above zero. In this case we're going to be using 0.1. In a, in a further example later on in the three axis training workshop we're going to show you exactly what value to use in there. So there we can see clearly that by using a value of 0.1 the complete corner is machined correctly and not under machined or over machined.